I was in our youth center lobby bathroom at the urinal and I heard someone come in and then I felt something between my legs slapping me between the ankles. <laughs> no. Me nah. thinking it was a student. Yeah. I said in an angry tone, hey, back off, dude. Are you serious right now? All I got was a deep yet soft voice saying that they were sorry. <gasps> So as I go to wash my hands, I look to see who it was. It turns out it was one of our church members who was completely blind. <gasps> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Youth Group Chronicles. Youth Group Chronicles. In another the studio one. today, Pastor Mike Acosta Here. and Buddy Jenkins. That's Welcome back job. to the show, you guys. So if you're new to the show, if you've never listened to this before, this is where we read true stories from youth ministry that are just a little bit out of pocket. They happened, and it's bit. okay for you to laugh at them. We also have a few people in the studio tonight, so if you hear some background noise, uh, that's okay. We're also Instagram Live, so we'll read some comments from there. But we will kick this off with a story from Robert. Robert said, One Sunday morning, I was in our youth center lobby bathroom at the urinal, and I heard someone come in, and then I felt something between my legs slapping me between the ankles. <laughs> no. Me nah. thinking it was a student. Yeah. I said in an angry tone, hey, back off, dude. Are you serious right now? All I got was a deep yet soft voice saying that they were sorry. <gasps> so as I go to wash my hands, I look to see who it was. It turns out it was one of our church members who was completely blind. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He was using his walking stick to try and find his way around. Yo. I felt absolutely <laughs> terrible, and I still use a different voice tone when I'm around him. I'm hoping that maybe he just won't recognize me from his voice. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on. This just goes, like, too many layers deep. Like, yeah. not only is the blind person coming to the bathroom, <laughs> slapping this man in between his legs while he's going pee. Now this man got the thought process like, now I got to switch up my voice every yeah. time I come around. <laughs> he's mad. He's committed to it. He's That's crazy. Like, every time he sees him, he has to be like, <laughs> uh-oh. Um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> What's up? Someone said that's really a blind reaction. Yeah. Uh, literally. Quite Yo. Literally, a literal blind reaction. You imagine? I probably would have, like, kicked or then something. Then a blind dude got to be embarrassed. I wonder how many times he's done that, like, walked <laughs> into the, the bathroom, accidentally slapped the guy in between the like, legs. <laughs> What? The guy thought it was one of his youth kids. Yeah, that's absolutely. the funny part. I would have kicked. That's even <laughs> worse. Kicked, like, like hey. oh, this was one of my underage kids in the bed. <laughs> Slapping my legs. Slapping bro, my correct. legs. Why pee? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wow, that's I insane. feel bad at the at the end of the day. I, I would feel terrible. I would feel. I angry. don't know if I'd commit to the voice thing though. No, you just nah, own it. I, would I, probably, well, I wonder how many like do blind people like do they have like a memory bank of voices? That I, they bet, I, I, I oh, bet yeah. they do. I, I really bet but, they like, do. But like I would yeah. just be like, hey, bro, I thought this was my uh, youth That's student. My bad. <laughs> like, guys, if you have stories that you want to send into the show, stories at ygcpodcast.com is where you can send them in. We also have a new website that is live. Ooh. You can go check it out. You can submit stories it's there. You can listen to episodes there. You can buy merch there. Mm. Repping the goldfish hat today, everybody. Sam is a great there. website developer, by the way. Come on. What's that? He said you're a great website developer. Thanks, man. Okay. Hopefully not for much longer if uh, Youth Group Chronicles keeps this up. Hey, <laughs> we'll get our cut, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story from Tim. He said, our youth group ran a night around the theme, why should I listen to the Bible on sexuality? What? I was doing the talk, and when I made it to this stage, I started talking, and before realizing it, my mic pack was off. So in front of all the students, I said, oops, I better turn myself on. <laughs> Yep. My first question is why why are you talking about that? <laughs> That's why wouldn't I listen to the Bible about sexuality? I there are a lot of people that don't. <laughs> no, but like I don't know. That's dangerous. You would never preach group. on that? I would preach on it, but I wouldn't say, hey guys, let's learn about why or let's talk about why you wouldn't. No, why would no, you see the, see the issue with youth mysteries, they always trying to find a cool yeah, cool phrase to saying. be that this actually month. is true. Why yeah. you shouldn't listen Very to true. the Bible on sexuality? That's <laughs> I did. Wow. Not nah, my mic pack. I guess I should turn myself on. <laughs> you're not living on. You're not living that down. This is from Bella. Bella said, "My most embarrassing youth pastor fail was when I was getting down on the floor to pray for another student during our youth conference. What I didn't realize was that there was another student directly behind me, <laughs> and before I knew it, I had sat on this student's head." Oh. <laughs> 
And to make matters worse, I'm a male and this student was a female. No. Wow. Not man, but all her face. Uh, she got pink eye for sure. <laughs> that, <laughs> That's pink eye for sure, bro. That reminds me of like in school when you're like, when the teacher bends over to help Ugh. someone else and she used to put the, bro, that used to be the worst. Know. You'd be sitting there working. Oh, yeah, you were homeschooled. <laughs> yeah, so you, were homeschooled. Don't, you, don't, you don't even know you were homeschooled. <laughs> His dad comes You used over. to be sitting there working like, Mrs. or even Mr. Mr. Come help. <laughs> like, what? And the teachers, they always do like the over exam yeah. like bend over the desk, <laughs> butt all up in the air. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's laughs> split, leg. split leg. I'm like, yo. Okay, this actually happened to me this conference. So I was praying for somebody, and like, <laughs> I'm a big dude. I'm like 6'1, I'm like 270, so I'm a big guy. You are. And I like pray for this kid. He goes down, and I like fell with him. <laughs> There's this like small youth student in the underneath me. I was like, oh my god, she's she's gonna die. Crush. So I like I like maneuvered my body around and I was like, oh my It was god. the end for her. What was that yeah. a girl you said? Yeah, she literally That's saw her worst. life flash before for her eyes. <laughs> like it was so bad. Stories at ygcpodcast.com, guys, is where you can send in your stories. This is from Hannah. Hannah said, one of the highlights of our weekend at youth camp is canoeing down a local river with a stop at a sand dune that had a large mud pit in the center of it. As we rounded the bend to where the sand dune was, I noticed that the boat ahead of us wasn't stopping in the usual place. I wear glasses and I don't have the greatest long distance, long distance vision, so I didn't see anything wrong at first glance. As we got closer to the dunes though, I noticed that the sand looked like it was moving and then girls in my canoe began to panic. It turns out there were anywhere from 20 to 30 fully naked people hanging out on the sand and playing in the mud pit. Oh, no. My youth group girls in the boat started shrieking as we slowly passed by. And one of the men even climbed to the very top of the dune and waved at us. No. Yo, you know those were old people. <laughs> you know those were they're old in, people. They're in a bro. canoe, dude. Oh. <laughs> they're probably just like hauling. They're like, go, go, go. <laughs> Wait, so was it a beach? It was like a swimming hole. So they they go to it, right? <laughs> Gotta be old so you're people, like bro. you're going down the river in your canoe and then you can like pull off and go swimming, but it was occupied. That's by the naked people. Yeah. Got to be by old the tribe. naked people, dude. No one I can I already know what type of people it was. Yeah. What was it? I ain't gonna say. Ithaca? No. <laughs> Close. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Close. A, a lot of Ithaca actually. Yeah, yeah a lot of Ithaca. Close. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna move on to the next old story. people, <laughs> old wrinkly people. <laughs> no, that's bro. I don't know how Not people be comfortable with clothes. that. Just like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I like, do. <laughs> just <laughs> booty naked. All this. Well, they, he did say that they blended in with away. the sand, so it was definitely white people. <laughs> True. See context clues. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> naked chicken on the beach. Someone said, "What would you name a group chat for that?" <laughs> what <laughs> the frick, bro? Who thinks of these things? They probably don't even got a group. <laughs> Who thinks of these? Someone's like trying to make one right now. Like, That's a great idea. <laughs> what would you call like that? Asking for a friend. Yeah, yeah, asking for a friend. What, what would you, uh, how would you put that in the, event a good, in the uh, calendar? <laughs> what's a good Facebook group name? <laughs> That's crazy. We need a graphic with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like Sandman. No, okay, all right, all right. Next one. Next one. This is from Isaac. Isaac said, while our youth group was at a conference, the boys played a game one night where they would all sit in a circle and take a handful of icy hot cream. Then at the going. same time, they would stick their hands down their pants yep. and put it on their crotch. Done this. Then the goal was to see who could last the longest without getting up. I've done this. You've literally done that? I've literally done this. In, not as a youth pastor, <laughs> as a youth student. <laughs> Just to make it clear on this, this podcast. This is your youth group that is sending this in, apparently, because yeah. I've never heard that. You've never heard that before? No. Well, it was How bad does it hurt? That's what I want to know. It's bad. Is it? It's you really done it, Trey? I've, I've heard people doing it as pranks. No, no, no. I, I actually uh, have biofreeze on my back right now, so like it goes hot and then it goes cold. But icy hot's like bad, especially on your nuts, dude. I will stay far away. Yeah, then. don't do it, <laughs> bro. Do it. His kids got burnt. Dude, up for youth real. kids are crazy. They're crazy. Yeah, bro. You can't. Yeah. Someone asked where they can send in stories. Stories at ygcpodcast dot com is where you can send these in. This is from Cody. He said. We played a game of Would You Rather at oh, youth group, and for one of the prompts, a few senior high guys from the group were given wax strips, which they had to wax part of their legs with. After the game, though, the junior high boys noticed that my chest was pretty hairy and tried to pin me down to wax my chest. Hey, yo. I'm fighting for my life at that point. <laughs> I got, I got them to lay life. off for the night, but one kid took his challenge 
uh, took this as a challenge and started trying to find where I live so he could sneak in and wax my chest. Hey, yo, you got psycho kids, bro. <laughs> he asked my lead pastor, my wife, my mom, etc., but no one told him. So he and a buddy resorted to looking in the local phone book. Now, I only moved to town six months prior to that, so I was not in the phone book yet, but there was also someone with my first and last name who wasn't me. So the boys go to this house and write a threatening note on a box (laughs) of wax strips. (laughs) Along the lines of, we're coming for you. Don't close your eyes. Your chest is mine. (gasps) Yo, that's crazy. (laughs) At our next event, He starts talking to me about the BMW I had, which was weird. So I asked him, what's up? And he said, well, we saw your BMW when we dropped off the strips. To which I replied in confusion, what are you talking about? And he said, wait, you don't live at, you know, this address? And I said, no. To which this mortified student realized he had dropped off the notes at some random person's house. (laughs) That person's probably like looking out their window like someone (laughs) got to come back my chest. Every for night. weeks or yelling at their wife <laughs> yeah who's coming for your chest <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy yo someone just someone commented a bit ago they said what is the point of sharing these stories let me tell you because it is okay to laugh at other mm. people's mistakes because yeah, as, a, as a it news is. pastor you gotta find if you don't laugh at it you, you cry it, you cry <laughs> with that being said guys send in more stories stories at ygcpodcast.com show chest yeah <laughs> Our youth group was playing sardines in the dark during a uh, lock-in so dangerous. when the person who hid decided to hide in the changing room off the side of our baptistry. During the round, a group of about 15 kids found their way into this small room, which is about five by eight feet wide. A couple kids were standing in, on the bench, and one of the girls standing in front of them against the wall asked out loud to one of the boys, why are you playing with my hair? He responded that he wasn't touching her hair. She proceeded to say that something was touching her hair. So by this point, someone turned on a a phone light to investigate what was going on and realized that the pastor's dry, crusty underwear was hanging from a hook above her head from the baptisms a week earlier. Oh, (laughs) that's stinky. So the whole time she was thinking that a boy behind her was trying to make a move on her and it was literally just the pastor's underwear. (laughs) And it's old baptism underwear. Yeah. One it's thing like I know about crinkly. baptisms is that's mm, nasty. Dead skin, hair. BO, hair, grease, dirt. sweat, dirt, <laughs> fecal matter. You, were you in the baptisms this weekend? Yes. How bad I've was I've been it? in the baptism. This 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 past weekend wasn't that bad. But the first time we, we did them at conference, you couldn't even see the bottom. That's so you, bad. You could this not, one wasn't like, you, that bad, though? No. This was probably, but even still, like, yeah. once there's, like, a few people in, you can see, like, the oil Little and, film. like, hair on top. You could start to see a film. But this one wasn't as bad as the last two or the first one. The first one, it was literally brown, soupy Ugh. water. Like, by, just, by the time me and Cole got out, you couldn't even, I couldn't even see my, <laughs> my, my feet at the bottom. <laughs> and the tank's not that deep. Dude. Someone's asking, why was it crusty? Guys, when underwear dries when it's hanging up, it just... Yeah, in the, it, when it air dries, it's like yeah, mildewy. It just gets, it's like yeah, it's just smell wet. Maybe he farted. In Have it. we done this before? I mean, swimming trunks. You know how they get like harder when they dry. Yeah, or like hey, if you yeah, ever like, come on, like don't leave me hanging fully here. Dry clothes. This is a story from Ethan. Ethan said we recently saw the tortilla slap trend goal all over TikTok and Instagram, so we decided to try it out at youth group. The rules are simple: don't slap with your hand and keep the water in your mouth at all times. As the students started getting slapped, they had trouble keeping the water in their mouths. So our youth pastor, without thinking, said, squeeze them cheeks and keep them tight. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. There's a million other ways you could have said that. I don't know how people think of, don't think like, you got to process that. Squeeze nah. them cheeks and keep it tight. Nah. You need to know what you're saying. That's not even in my vocabulary. <laughs> Squeeze them cheeks and keep it tight. That's wild. <laughs> wow. Maybe just like, I don't know, keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Hey, don't, guys, remember, don't spit the water out. Spit the water out. <laughs> yeah. That's the goal. Uh, like, and what, what, what kind of tone And what kind of tone do you say that in? Like, yeah. <laughs> keep your cheeks shut and squeeze them cheeks, keep it tight. Squeeze them cheeks and keep them tight. <laughs> like, that's how they said it. 
That's crazy. No, I didn't. <laughs> 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 That's the Yo, dude. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. <laughs> well, you're out of here. <laughs> Something like a stepdad was saying. That's some jail stuff. <laughs> Ooh. This man said something like a ste- stepdad you got. <laughs> we all know. Yes, Bro, we, we all know. know. Said that I got. He would say that. Yeah, actually, yeah, he actually. This is getting edited out. <laughs> all, right, all right, next story. <laughs> this is from Christy. Christy said, <laughs> "During the final night of camp, we had a small campfire, and senior leadership was sitting around the the camp the campfire with all our cabin leaders. At bedtime, I noticed that one of the leaders was not with his boys, but had sat down around the fire. I could hear the chaos of his cabin, literally from where we were." The lights were flickering on and off, and the youth kids were screaming. Then, out of nowhere, the lights just stayed off, which was really suspicious. The leader went to go check on the cabin, and moments later, he was back at the campfire with a very scared look on his face. It turns out that the boys in his cabin had broken apart some glow sticks, stripped down, smeared the glowing liquid all over their naked bodies, and were literally having a naked dance rave in their cabin. What kind of kids are these, bro? I'm telling you. Nah, that's the, they're deranged. <laughs> they're deranged homeschool kids. I've, I've, I've never, like, ever when I was younger thought, like, yo, let me get naked with yeah, all my bros neither. and dance around. I have around. never, ever thought that. Never. 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 This is probably, like, this is probably, like, this is probably, like, Arkansas. This is in a the very middle of select, the woods. select, specific group kids. of people. That's, like, home, that's, that's got to be homeschoolers. You, uh, I would never do that, bro. Yeah, you're lying. <laughs> no. Same as just, <laughs> Literally lied. He's like, he's, maybe he's, y'all didn't do it, but <laughs> he's reading it the like people uh. up the road did. <laughs> <laughs> the people up the road did. <laughs> Sam's reading it like, oh, that's, that's a great idea. I don't know why really we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I ever thought about that. <laughs> with my, hey, why, with my why, co-ed why, why did we never think of that? <laughs> with my co-ed friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Guys, you can send in your stories, YGC podcast, or stories at ygcpodcast.com someone someone commented did you see the the story on instagram they're like when sam says uh guys you can send in your stories it's equivalent to someone saying uh what was it anyone see that oh yeah worship you could come up yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) that was mad funny that's his closing let's transition to worship that's it yeah guys definitely check out our merch too i don't know if you guys can see this but it's pretty gas ygcpodcast.com is where you can grab some merch this is from kate kate said one day we had a visitor And it was his first time at our youth group. We came to the end of our small group session and our leader asked for prayer requests. A girl who was one of our regular attendees raised her hand and said that her grandmother was in the hospital for a broken arm. After we collected all the requests, the leader asked who wanted to pray over them. This new boy bravely raised his hand right away and said that he would. We all bowed our heads and waited for a sweet and simple prayer. But when it came time to pray for the grandma, he said, Dear Lord, thank you for Lisa's grandmother, and I pray that you heal her arm. Or just let her die if it's in your will. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. (laughs) My man was thinking eternal. My man was thinking (laughs) eternal eternal healing. (laughs) If it's your will, let it be done. (laughs) Either way, <laughs> for a broken for arm. A broken <laughs> arm. <laughs> for a broken arm. He was so, he felt so like. He acted like this is the like, 1700s. Or he something. was like, no, he was so genuine. That was probably <laughs> the most genuine prayer. <laughs> he didn't know, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, it might be her time. Yeah. It <laughs> might, that, it might, that, How old is she? This, <laughs> I was going to say, how old is she? It's yeah. grandma. This, this might be it, God. This might be your, <laughs> this might, might be her ticket. <laughs> she I ain't trying to get in your way. <laughs> Some, real- some people are asking, did the email address change? Yes, it did. However, the old one uh, is still up. We're just switching and transitioning to a, an official email address. So if you sent one there, um, we still get and got all of the emails. Um, someone also asked, if you send in an email, does your story get read? Unfortunately, we do not read all stories on this podcast. Um, there's just no possible way we could do that on top of that it's nothing against your story at all some of them like we get a lot of a lot of similar stories so like we'll read one of like a certain genre and then we'll move on you know it's really kind of like funny me. you'll do like one thing it'll be a trend like all the poop stories you do one and now everyone mm. sends them in let's see Everybody here got a poop story. yeah yeah they sure do <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot do of you have stories. one buddy <laughs> is that why you're saying that nah. no 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 you have to say it now what is it? All right, all right, all right. All right here we go. <laughs> this is crazy. I was like, if he doesn't, I have one. All right, this is crazy. <laughs> this, this isn't. This isn't. 
this isn't a youth group or anything like that because I didn't grow up at church or a youth group or anything. But so one time I was cleaning my room, right? I was cleaning my room and I really like <laughs> I so one of my favorite candies growing up was like peanut M&Ms. Oh, no. So I really like peanut M&Ms. So I'm like cleaning my room and I got like a really like a really big bag of peanut M&Ms. I'm cleaning up and they had spilled like on the floor. So I picked them up while, and that's why I was cleaning. So I'd seen when I came in my room, I'd seen one on the floor. I was like, oh, I must have missed one. No. Picked it up. Popped it in my mouth. It was an old piece of dog poop. Oh, no. It was an old piece of dog poop. Bro, it was an old piece of dog poop, bro. I spit that joke out so fast. Was it mushy or was it hard? <laughs> no, it was like, like a hard piece of a dog poop. How long did it like, take you to figure it out? It was like instantaneous. It was? Oh, it was just, like, just checking. Like, fast as the speed of light. I was like. Was like <laughs> and I looked around. <laughs> and I brushed my teeth. And I never uh, said that. <laughs> He's like, I've never told anyone to this but day. But now I just told it to thousands of people. Thousands of people. There we go. Yo, by the way, guys, <laughs> this podcast, you guys have been absolutely killing it with listenership. Yes. This past month, depending on when this drops, we had 65,000 listens oh just to God. the audio podcast. That doesn't wow, count the up. millions of views on social media. Time. So you guys are amazing. Thanks for sharing it. Keep it up. Absolutely. This is from Hudson. Hudson said, when I was in sixth grade at church camp, my counselor <laughs> zip tied oh me to my bedpost to simulate Jesus on the cross. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I was later hospitalized by a wedgie. <laughs> Wait, what? Where are the zip ties going? If he's getting a wedgie like he's, that. This is a, no, this no, is no, a was cry just, for It was help. like two stories oh. combined. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a cry for help. This is like, that's not no story. This that's man, trauma. This man is traumatized. He's, he's sharing He's story. texting from the bed. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's hilarious, bro. He was probably the smallest kid in the group, too. <laughs> that's crazy. Just, <laughs> nah, this man... Go go get help, brother. He was probably he was probably the new kid. I pray you yeah, it's gotta yeah, be illegal. You need to find that man and yeah. put him under jail. <laughs> that's insane. He, vi- he violated you. He violated you. Yeah. And zip ties. <laughs> yeah, you you know, can't move not even like this. a little piece of Juju Lily said, Is that what Paul meant when he said I have been crucified with Christ? That's crazy. No, 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 no. This is <laughs> the heresy. <laughs> No, <laughs> this is good. That's crazy. Yeah. Chris Hansen is entering the chat. <laughs> this is NBC Dateline with Chris Hansen. <laughs> go, go ahead, take a Why seat. Why are you here? <laughs> take a seat. Go ahead, take a seat. Go ahead, take a seat. Did you order this pizza? This is ABC <laughs> is this, Dateline. Is this you <laughs> zip tying this under underage student to a bedpost? And Did you know they're you? underage. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Is this your first time doing how, this? I don't understand how some of these people become youth pastors. It's a great question. It's like there needs to be like a, a like a like a very big like vetting system. <laughs> like, what would you do in this situation? You there should, I mean? that like, should someone should create. I should like do a, that. an interview with stories yeah. from this podcast. I should you actually got, do that. I'm throwing it out there. I'm not going to do it, guys. I'm taking that someone idea. else can run with it. You're going to do it. Yeah. How would you react if your youth group pooped on you or something? <laughs> or like, how would you react if they took a zip line in the middle of the night with a carabiner. <laughs> that was 70 crazy. Foot ravine. That was crazy. You know what I mean? That's a great <laughs> vetting process. Yeah. yeah. Someone do it. Before. I'm gonna do it. You're going you're gonna to do it? All right. I'm holding you to it. We will read one more story here. This is from Nathan. Nathan said, after a Taco Bell Tuesday lunch, our great youth group start. went to a church member's house to swim. And during our time there, a student distanced themselves from the group complaining of stomach trouble. Oh, God. As the swim time ended, someone noticed dog poop on the pool deck. Wasn't dog poop. <laughs> More dog poop. Another uh, concerned buddy student <laughs> buddy noticed know. that the kid with the stomach trouble must have sat in the dog poop because he had some on his leg. Immediately, a look of horror washed over this kid's face as he realized the dog poop on the kid's leg was not dog poop no. at all. <laughs> That's, at least it wasn't in the pool. Almost. Almost. But that man was. Swimming. That man may have been swimming. I don't know. <laughs> oh. See, that's why I don't do swimming at public pools. Yes. This yes. was at a church member's house, bro. This is why I don't go to anybody's house. <laughs> I, I refuse to swim. This is why I don't go to anybody's house. This is why I don't eat anybody's food. <laughs> I refuse to swim. Someone said, parks. did they eat it too? Ruff, ruff. 
Dang, buddy. <laughs> You're not living that one down, man. That's wild. But he's like, what, but he's like, what's the address? <laughs> but he said, let me pull it real quick. <laughs> you like peanut M and M's? <laughs> Never, bro. Wait, how do you? Wait, wait. Pause. How do you mistake a peanut M and M and a piece of dog food? Bro, it looks the same. <laughs> no, it does. Yes, it does. No. Uh, dog food is little, dark. No, uh, <laughs> the little piece. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thank you. The nah. little Dave and Buddy are fighting for their I've lives in here right now. That looks like peanut M and M's. Listen, it was in the wrapper. Listen, it was in I'm the wrapper. telling you, I look just like it. Nah, I believe you. I believe you, buddy. But there's brown M and M's. It has an M on the them. brown M and M's. I can see that. No, but it has not an all M M's on got M's on it. <laughs> they got contaminated, and I was like nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops, candy. <laughs> yeah, ooh. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode, Pastor Micah, buddy. Yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. We will see all of you next week. If you guys have stories, send them into the show. And uh, if not, we will see you on the next episode. Peace. Peace.